Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a lot of empties here to share with you. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to share with you all of the products that I have used up in the last few months. Um, if you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future videos. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, there is a lot in here, so we might be here for a while. So first I have the La Mer The Eye Concentrate. Um, I didn't really notice a major difference with this. I've never really noticed a huge difference with any eye cream that I've used. It was fine. I definitely won't purchase it because it's La Mer. Um, but I mean, it was fine while I had it. I used up the Liquid Beauty Blender Cleanser. This one's fine. For a while, I actually really preferred the Solid Cleanser. But I feel like this one actually does a better job of cleaning my brushes. But I would like to explore some other brush cleaners. Brush cleaners, brush soaps, whatever, that aren't um, by Beauty Blender, because, I don't know. All right, then we have the Derma E Vitamin C Intense Night Cream. So I actually did not use this up completely, but I made a pretty good dent in this. So I didn't really love this, which is why I didn't use it up. I It was a very thick cream, so I could only really use it at night. In the, if I used it in the morning, it really messed up my makeup. Um, but this left me always feeling like I needed more moisture and I didn't want to have to apply a second moisturizer on top of my night cream. So that is why I did not end up finishing that. Um, but I did finish the German E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. This one was fine. It was a nice, um, serum. It was hydrating because it has that hyaluronic acid in it. Um, I didn't see the vitamin C benefits, but, um... I mean, it was fine. I won't repurchase it, but it was fine while I had it. Um, I used up a Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Sample. Um, this is an exfoliator. This is okay. I didn't mind it. I actually have a full size that I decluttered once I tried this because, um, well, it's fine. It's nothing amazing, and I don't really feel like it's something that I want to continue to use. So, um, I used up my YSL All Hours Foundation. This one I really enjoyed. Um, I tried this in my full face YSL. I had owned it before then but had kind of forgotten about it and I pulled it out and used it in that video and kind of fell back in love with it and then it expired in November of 2019 so I went ahead and focused on this foundation and used it up. It is a great one. Um, I don't know that I'll repurchase right now and I feel like I have other favorites that I like more than this so I don't know that I will ever really truly repurchase it but um, I mean I liked it while I had it. I would I would use it up again if I had it again but it's not one that I'm going to make a point to go repurchase. Um, I used up the Color Last Biolage Shampoo. I got highlights in my hair a couple months ago. You can probably tell that they're starting to grow out. Um, so I switched to like a color, um, a shampoo for color treated hair. This one was fine. I actually have a big size of it, like a liter of it in my shower right now that I am using. Then there are, what, three of these in here? This is the hairspray that I always use. So this is the Pantene hairspray. I get the maximum hold, the level five um, hairspray. So I use this hairspray every single day. Then we have the Sun and Park Beauty Water. Someone had told me, or I guess I had seen on a YouTube video, that this was like an essence. So I bought it to use for that, but it's definitely like a micellar water. So I did use this as a micellar water to take off my makeup. I enjoyed it. I don't think I would repurchase it, but I did enjoy it. Then we have the Ole Henriksen So Nurturing Cleansing Cloths. I did not like these to take off my makeup. They felt pretty dry and I felt like I was tugging at my face a lot. Um, yeah, I just didn't really like these, so I used them to take off swatches. Then I have the... Botanics Cleansing Facial Wipes. Again, I'm not a fan of these, which kind of surprised me because I liked their micellar water. Really did not like these, so I used them to take off swatches. And then I think this is the last wipe in here. I used up one. It came in like a box of like 25, and I used one RMS Beauty makeup remover wipe. Did not like it at all, so I got rid of the box. Um... I don't know, it was like very oily, but also very dry. Um, and I don't feel like it really took my makeup off at all, so I did not enjoy that. Um, I used up the Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner. Really, really liked this. 
Um, it was a great hydrating toner. Um, I don't feel like it really made a huge difference hydration wise, but I liked that it was a, a toner, so I had a, a toner step in my routine that wasn't drying my skin out. Because I find that sometimes a lot of the toners I use are more drying. So this one definitely didn't do that, um, which I appreciated. Um, I used up the Bathorium Crush Relaxing Bath Soak. Um, they were just bath salts. I mean, they were nice. That came as like a sample or bonus or something in like a detox order or something like that. I don't know. Um, we have the Sephora um, cleanser. This one I didn't really love. I felt like it, it's like a clear gel cleanser that turns to like a foam. I felt like it kind of was a little too intense for my skin, um, like a little too stripping. It, I mean, it was fine. I won't repurchase it, but I did use it up. Then I have the Purity Made, Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. This used to be like my Holy Grail cleanser. I have others that I like more now, but um, I mean, it does a great job of just cleansing your face. It's a very gentle cleanser, um, so I do like that one. I have two samples here of the Tatcha One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. Um, it took me a really long time to get through the first one because I thought I was not a fan of cleansing oils, and then once I did, I realized I actually really loved it. So I went through another sample of that as well. Um, I have other cleansing balms that I like more than that, but um, it is a really nice cleansing oil. Um, we have the Heart of Gold Sea Change, sea Change Cleansing Balm. I was not a fan of this. Um, I did use it up, but I was not a fan of this. I The first day I got it, I used it like right away after it had been on my doorstep. This came in a detox box or Beauty Heroes box. Or box wallet. I think it was box wallet. This came in a box wallet box. Um, and when I used it like right off the doorstep because it's hot outside, it was like a liquid and I actually really liked it then. But um, it's supposed to be like a solid form, which all cleansing bombs are kind of solid, but this was like you had to scrape it off to use it, um, which I didn't love. And I found that a lot of times this didn't do a great job of removing my makeup. I would have to go in two or three times with this to remove my makeup or my eye makeup, just eye makeup, like my mascara. Or I would go in with the Tatcha to get off my eye makeup and then use this on the rest of my face. So, we'll not repurchase that. Then from Heart of Gold, we have the Sweetbriar Hydrating Nectar. This is a serum. I actually did really enjoy this. It's very hydrating. However, I felt myself like towards the end being like, is this ever going to finish? Like, I wanted to move on to a different serum. Um, but I liked it while I had it. It was very hydrating. Um, I mean, and it was a nice serum. I don't think I will repurchase it. But it was nice while I had it. Oh, I do have some more wipes. This is from Cojun Doe. These are the cleansing spa water wipes. These actually are amazing. These do an amazing job of removing makeup. Um, I want to try their actual micellar water because I have not tried that. But their wipes are incredible. Um, then from Elemis, we have the Gentle Foaming Facial Wash. This one was okay. It's like a cream cleanser that turns into like a foamy cleanser. It was fine. I won't repurchase, but it was fine. There's so much stuff in here. I promise there's makeup down here too. Okay, from Chlorine, I used up the dry shampoo. This is one of my favorite shampoos. It does come out white, which I don't love because I have darker hair, but um, it does an amazing, amazing job of soaking up oils and not leaving my hair feeling like gross. Like, yes, there's obviously gonna be texture in my hair because I've sprayed something in it, but I feel like a lot of times after using dry shampoo, I just feel gross all day long because I usually wash my hair every day. It's kind of a rare occasion for me to use dry shampoo. But, um, so I don't really love that feeling. I'm not used to it, I don't like it. Um, but I, I couldn't really tell on days that I used this, which I appreciated. Then I used up the Josh Rosebrook Serum Spray Style. This came in a Detox Box or Beauty Heroes. I can't even remember. So this is a, um, it's supposed to reduce frizz and protect hair against heat instrument damage. Um, this was okay. I won't repurchase it. I didn't notice anything major with it. Um, I have other sprays like that that I prefer more. Um, the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, I really was not a fan of this. Um, it hydrated adequately. I felt like there was enough hydration, but I didn't love the smell. I don't know. Just all around, this wasn't my favorite. I, yeah, I don't know. wasn't my favorite. 
Then I used up the Believe True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This I do, however, really love. I love all of Believe's products, pretty much. Everything I've tried by them, except their micellar water. I do not like their micellar water. But I love a lot of their products. Okay, then we have the Pixi Glow Tonic. I actually really, really love this. I need to purchase another one. I'm out. Um, this is the Glycolic Acid Toner, and I feel like this does amazing things for my skin. I really love that. Then we have the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum, Vitamin C Serum. I actually really liked this one. Um, it went super fast because it's such a tiny sample, but really, really liked this. I would definitely repurchase that in the future. Then, I should have started with this. I wanted to start with this. So this is the Sunday Riley CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. So this is a vitamin C serum from Sunday Riley. I was using this. This came in like a subscription box. I was using this, really liked it, was like, oh, that went fast. So I tried to unscrew it to see like how much product was in here, if it had been filled up all the way, what? Y'all, the like straw from the pump is in a baggie and then this baggie was shoved down in here. I just still have a little bit in here that I wanna try to get out, but um, Yes, it does say 0.5 fluid ounces, so I will give it that. There probably was half an ounce in this. So, on that aspect, like, yes, I feel like they're probably being honest, but this bottle is very deceiving. I thought that there was going to be a lot more product in here, and really it was just whatever was in this tiny little baggie. Um, so, yeah, there's that, but that was kind of a bummer. I did enjoy this serum. Um, I liked that it was more of like, it's like a white consistency, if you can tell. It's more of like a lotion vitamin C serum instead of like an oil or that kind of a thing, um, which I appreciated, but I mean, I definitely won't ever repurchase it just because the, like, I feel like the cost for the amount of product you get is not there, and it, yeah, it wasn't anything amazing. Okay few more skincare hair care items and then we have the makeup actually there's a little bit more than I thought there was okay all right from Estee Lauder we have the advanced night micro cleansing foam this one was okay um I won't repurchase I have cleansers I like more but I mean it was nice while I had it I liked that one then from Clinique we have the dramatically different moisturizing lotion again I actually really liked this moisturizer I won't repurchase it because I have others that I like more I went through two of the samples of the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I think this is my favorite. Now, I haven't tried a ton of cleansing balms. I'm kind of new to this trend. Um, but out of the ones I've tried, I think this one's my favorite. I did really enjoy that. Then I used up the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This one was nice. Um, yeah, this one was nice. It's a very hydrating mask. I did enjoy that. I would definitely consider buying a full size of that in the future. Then I used up from Pink Light a Rose Petal Enzyme Mask. This came in a clean beauty box, I think. Um, this is like an exfoliating mask. Um, I don't notice huge results with this after one use, but if you use it consistently, then you definitely see results with it. So um, I, de I did enjoy this. Won't repurchase it. I have other masks that I like more, like the Maya Chia one that came in a Beauty Heroes, I think the same month as this. Um, works a lot quicker, it's a lot more effective, and I don't have to use it as often, so like I would purchase something like that over this in the future. Then we have the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This one wasn't bad, I liked it more than the Josh Rosebrook, but I just feel like Briogeo is a little pricey, so I will not be repurchasing that. Then from Sachuan, we have the Moisturizing Shampoo. This came in a subscription box. I thought I liked this at first. I was, I used a decent amount of this. It's like down to here. I was using this every day, thought I liked it. And then I started to feel like, oh, did I not wash all the shampoo out of my hair today? Like what's going on? And it just kept getting worse, kept getting like more buildup, more buildup, more buildup in my hair. And I'm showering every day at this point. And I finally realized this shampoo is not cleaning my hair. So, no, I will not repurchase it. I did not finish it. That shampoo did not do its job. Another product that I did not enjoy, this is the Cora's Wild Rose Makeup Melter Cleansing Oil. You can tell I barely used any of this because this cleansing oil is awful. It did absolutely nothing. It did not remove any makeup at all. None. Nothing. It didn't remove my makeup. This was so bad. So bad. I will not repurchase that. 
Then we have the Pharmacy um, Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. I liked this. This kind of freaked me out at first because it gets really warm and it's very thick and I was afraid it was going to clog my pores. Um, but it didn't actually really like that. So I would consider purchasing a full size of that in the future. This is makeup. We'll get to that in a second. SkinCeuticals Glycolic Tin Renew Overnight Sample. This was amazing. This did like amazing things for my skin. If I had a breakout or anything like that, it really was gone overnight. This was incredible. I would definitely consider purchasing this in the future. I have a feeling though that it's probably pretty pricey. I think SkinCeuticals is a really expensive brand. So there's that. And then I used up a Bath & Body Works candle. This is the Thanksgiving Heart at Harvest, which is also the sweet cinnamon pumpkin scent. I love this scent around um, Thanksgiving time. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin, but to me this doesn't really smell like pumpkin. It just smells like Thanksgiving. So definitely a big fan of that scent. Okay, then let's get into the makeup. So I used, or I'm getting rid of two beauty blenders. Um, this one is really old and gross. This one, however, I felt like could have had a longer lifespan. However, it started to get like greenish, bluish, grayish, and I got real nervous. So I cut it open thinking that there would be mold. There wasn't. Um, so I could have continued using this longer. I just got a little freaked out. Oh, this isn't makeup. This is the Design Me Fab Me. Uh, this is like a hair spray, like heat protector type thing also. Um, I mean, I only got like two uses out of this because it's so small. It was fine. From Limelight by Alcone, we have the First Face Makeup Primer. This is kind of like a Smashbox primer water. I did really enjoy this. I won't repurchase it though. This is like the direct sales company that I used to be a part of. Um, so I'm, I won't repurchase that. I have others that I have now that I will use up. There's a lot of mascaras here. Okay, I used up three chapsticks, which like I was super impressed by because I tend to always lose my chapsticks before I can use them up. So we have the Fresh Sugar Rose chapstick that I used up. This is a sample. Their, their normal ones are a lot bigger. But there's still a decent amount of product in these. This is the Sugar Dream by Fresh Chapstick so used up. And then I used up the Soft Lips Vanilla Chapstick. So yeah, did a pretty good job with my chapsticks recently. Um, okay, I used up the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is like my holy grail drugstore foundation. Really, really love this. I'm in the shade 220 Natural Beige. Um, oh, I didn't tell y'all what shade I was in that YSL. In this YSL, I am shade. BR20, just in case I ever want to like repurchase that. I can refer back to this video, BR20. Um, anyway, so color stay, I am shade 220. This, like I said, is my Holy Grail Drugstore Foundation. Really love this one. This is the first liquid foundation I ever tried and I fell in love with it. Okay, then I used up the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. There's still a tiny little bit on the outside, but I can't get to it without like destroying my brush. Um, really enjoy this powder as well. It gives a nice like satin finish to the skin, but also keeps you matte all day long, and I really love that. I went through two samples of the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I was using this to set under my eyes. I have since repurchased a full size, so that is already in my makeup collection. Okay, y'all, the rest of this is eye stuff. I used up an Anastasia um, Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. Do really like these. I will continue to repurchase them. Right now, I've really been into brow powder, um, but I will repurchase that in the future for sure. Okay, liners. I used up a sample of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Um, I won't repurchase that just because I'm not purchasing from Kat Von D, but I do really like her liners. Then from Ulta Beauty, I used up the classic felt tip liner. This one was nice, but I feel like it dried out fairly quickly, so I won't repurchase that. Then I used up the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liquid Liner. This one was nice, but sometimes would get a little like leaky, like there would be too much product come out, and then other times there was like nothing. So that was a little weird. I won't repurchase that. And then the Dose Dose Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. This one leaked like all over the place, so definitely won't repurchase that. I'm always on the hunt for like the perfect liquid liner. Too Faced Better Than Sex, have always loved. I don't know that I will repurchase it because I tend to like always get free things in like samples or like if I buy a set, it comes in this. So I don't know that I will. Ooh. 
So I don't know that I will go out and just repurchase this mascara on its own, but it is one of my favorites. Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. This one was also really, really good. Um, I would definitely consider repurchasing this in the future. Here's the wand. Um, this one was great. I really enjoyed that. The ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. This one's okay. Um, I didn't hate it, but I felt like it got really clumpy really fast. Like this, the tube got clumpy really fast. Um, so wasn't a huge fan of that. Don't think I will repurchase. The Chanel Le Volume de Chanel is one of my holy grails. I don't use this on its own, but I use this to pair it with any other mascara, and it just gives the perfect amount of definition and length. Um, so we'll definitely continue to repurchase this. Then from Sephora, we have the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. Eh, it was all right. I don't really remember it, so there's that. Milk Kush Mascara. I know when I first tried this, I hated it. The more I used it, the more it grew on me, but it also got really clumpy really fast. I don't know that I would ever buy a full size of this just because I have others that I like so much more. YSL The Shock. This one was really nice. I did really enjoy this one. Um, I don't know that it's in like my favorites, so I don't know that I would repurchase it, but it was really nice. Then from MAC, we have the False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. This one, yeah, it's okay. I don't love any MAC mascara. The Kevin Aquan, the Curling Mascara. This one was really nice, um, but this is like a tubing mascara, which I didn't know, so it's kind of difficult to take off, but um, it was a really nice mascara. I did enjoy it. I don't think that I will repurchase it, but it was nice. And then the BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash Mascara. Again, this one was all right. Um, wasn't a favorite or anything, but I mean, I did use it. I'm pretty, I say I'm really picky on my mascaras in the sense that like I have so few like favorite top mascaras. Um, and there are a lot of times I'll use a mascara once and I'm like, nope, never touching that again. But I have like a big range of mascaras that are just like, okay, that I'll use, I'll use up, but they're just not a favorite. Anyway, I think that is it for my empties. Sorry this was such a long video. If you like empties, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!